guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. I'm driving down the street. I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree. It is 9.15 in the morning on Sunday. And today is Hocus Pocus View Party. Party. Um, I just need to pick up a few things and then I'll bring you along and show you what I, I am doing for the party. Um, I made last night when I got home, so I worked football, last of the five games in a row. I'm exhausted from that, but I slept good last night, which is great. So I put together a half batch of buffalo chicken dip, which was perfect. And I will throw that in the oven. I don't have a crock pot small enough for the small serving that I made. So there will be at the at my house, Sarah, Julia, Sarah's mom, um, my friend Teresa, and I think her daughter Nicole, and Sarah's friend Lucy, maybe Riley. So there'll be a fair amount of us in my tiny little living room, which is fine. I'm gonna move the furniture around today for more viewing. I'm doing a lot of air quoting today. Uh, for better viewing and also um, so there'll be room I'm gonna bring in some like bag chairs and stuff like that so perfect Sarah's bringing some dips because she's the vegetarian so she'll need some stuff and then I'm ordering us pizza we're getting pepperoni and cheese pizza for them to have I will eat the buffalo chicken dip which is perfectly fine I don't care and of course coffee all the drinks and we're gonna watch Hocus Pocus maybe Hocus Pocus 1 but for sure Hocus Pocus 2 I know I'm excited and then I have to get ready for work tomorrow so that's fun so I probably will bring buffalo chicken dip for lunch tomorrow since I'll have extra because it's only gonna be seven of us we're gonna have a variety of snacks I'm just making little bits also we're air drying the curls today and I'm learning how to make coffee I know that sounds weird, but I use K-cups all the time or I go out. I don't often brew a pot of coffee because I never can make it right. Well, I've been researching and apparently a cup on the pot is not a cup of coffee, first of all, and it's different for every brand. So what I was reading is on most coffee pots, the average is six ounce cup and that's how it measures. No, on my... I have a Cuisinart. It's 4.5 ounces per cup on the line, which is why my coffee always turns out too strong since I bought this new coffee maker. So I've been, I've been, I've been doing some scientific research. This morning I did 24 ounces of water and I did six tablespoons of coffee and that's too much. So next I'm going to make 24 ounces with four tablespoons of coffee and see what that does. I'm just trying to find my sweet spot. Yes, I'm 52. I'm obsessed with coffee and I can't brew a decent pot. I'm sorry. Sorry. But I'm going to get it. I'm on a goal. These are my Dollar Tree cups. They work pretty good. The lids don't... The first lid was broken. They're $1.25 for four cups. I don't care, but how cute is that? So I'm going into the Dollar Tree. I'll talk to you later. Okie dokie. I'm having a mint. Hair is going to almost dry so I can fluff it up soon. Went to Dollar Tree this morning. I got some good finds for my video. And also, they came back out with the snowman mugs. The, not as big as before, which is sad because I love those mugs. But the no nose. The nose is like painted on instead of bumpy. But I grabbed two because I think I'll do a video on like office mate little gift some things. Um, just little teacher, office mate, mailman, postman type thing. So I'm looking for things that I can pick up along the way. And those mugs are definitely something we can utilize. I love stuffing those mugs because they're nice and big. Um, what else did I get? Anything exciting? Um, yeah, some t-shirt to decorate. I found three matching in two different sizes, which is great because that never happens. And now I'm on my way to Aldi because 
I need um I need some groceries for the week and but mostly for lunches for the next two days. And I need um some cubed cheese. And pork rinds for lunch tomorrow and for today's dip. Because I don't have any pork rinds. I think that's mostly what I need at Aldi. Just a couple things, you know, for the week. And then I'm going to go home and we're going to decorate. So we're going to put up my Halloween tear tray. And... So I kind of skipped Halloween this year, fall, because I just am so busy. This is a busy, busy, busy time for me. So I didn't really get a lot of fall out. A little bit, but not a lot. So what we're going to do today is go straight Halloween because I'm having a Hocus Pocus party and it's October. And do you notice the earrings? It's the Sanderson sisters. I got these at the Backwoods Festival when I went. And they're little leather pieces cut out with the witch's heads on them. I love that. So we, and I'm wearing my Sanderson's sister hat, uh, shirt I got at Lane Bryant of all places. I digress. So we are headed to the last stores for the morning and then I'm going to go home and we're going to decorate my coffee table yes that's what it's called and my dining room table mantle area I'm just gonna put up a few things nothing to own and ornate um the good thing is we are on break from football for two weeks so there's no football I mean Buckeye football so that's college uh next week they have what's called a bye week which means they don't have a game they get a break so there's no Ohio State football next weekend and then the weekend after they're on the road and that weekend I am out of town so I need to figure out how I'm gonna I guess I won't be watching the game but I can check scores on the game and maybe watch it a little bit I doubt it if it's a noon that would be like five o'clock because I'm gonna be five hours ahead I probably would just check scores it's okay um, or somebody will tell me if they win, lose, or draw. Yep, and then when I come back from my trip, I have Friday off, and then Saturday there is a football game, and that Saturday football game, I don't know what time it's gonna be. So a lot of times, if you don't know, college football games typically, typically, are set by the TV stations. And a lot of it goes by their rankings. So they don't always set the times that football's gonna play too far in advance because you don't know what their college football rankings are gonna be. And they want, you know, like there's primetime games and they want the bigger draw. It's all about money. It's all about TV and money when you are at a D1 school and they're on national televised schedules. Um, so there's that. So we don't really know what time they're always going to play. However, there are caveats to that. The last game of the season, typically for the Buckeyes, is always Michigan. That is our biggest rivalry, is Michigan, or the team up north, or Michigan, because we don't say M's during Michigan week. Um, and it's a home game this year, so we're playing it at the stadium at Ohio State so I'll be working the game and it is always a noon game always I I'm not sure if it's because it's such a big rivalry that the crowd gets very riled up and trying to avoid too much excess in alcohol drinking and fighting and all that plus it's like the headline game of the day so Buckeyes and Michigan huge rivalry has been for a million years and that game is always a noon kickoff so I know when the last game of the season is, but the other two, because I only have three home games left, I don't know when the other two are. And it's flipping cold. Let's just say it. It's cold at the football stadium when I work. It was cold last night. It was only in the 50s, but it's very windy at the stadium. It, depending where you're standing, the wind comes whipping through. I By the end of that game, I was freezing, and I just wanted to go home. But 
I only had on a golf shirt and then a jacket over it, so I really wasn't dressed appropriate either. So I need to dig out my thermals, definitely thermal pants and shirt to wear under my black pants and golf shirt. And then, although in the winter time when you're zipping up in your coat, they don't care what you wear underneath because they just want you to stay warm. It's an outdoor stadium, it's not covered. So we wear winter coats, we wear all the layers, we stay very warm or try to stay very warm. There's a lot of coffee consumption, a lot of hot hands, and a lot of hiding in the bathroom because there's heat in the bathrooms. I don't really hide in the bathroom, but I do visit the bathroom fairly regularly when it's freezing. So the good thing, I guess, about this being so many home games at the beginning of the season is that we're not freezing for so many games at the end of the season. There's a lot of blather about football you probably never wanted to know, and I only know because I work there. And I have four brothers and three cousins, and we're all, well, three brothers and three cousins, and we're all football crazy, so they tell me lots of stuff. So, after today, things slow down for me. I will be working some hockey. If you're interested in seeing some of the hockey, I will bring you along, make a video about the hockey games, because that starts for me on Thursday night. I will be working hockey Thursday, Friday. Typically, I think maybe always, or typically when hockey is played, it's always a series. So there's always two or three games in a row in each arena. So they'll come to Columbus and they'll have a game Thursday, Friday, sometimes Friday, Saturday, sometimes Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just depends. But I'm working Friday, Saturday. I really, really, really try not to work Sundays. That's just the one day that I try to carve out for myself. However, this week coming up, I will be working Sunday because it's a concert and they need people. So I don't mind doing that. So there is that. I will be working Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday I'm working The Who. And then Monday I work, Tuesday I work, Wednesday I work at my day job. And then I take Sarah, or I take the cats to Sarah's house. And yes, then I go on my vacation. And the cats will be spending eight to 10 days at Sarah's, which, they may not be too happy about, but they'll be okay. They love Sarah and her doll. All right, guys. Let's get to the grocery store. All right, we're getting ready. We got Hocus Pocus 1 on. Everybody's not here yet. My house is a disaster because I had to make room for chairs. But here is my coffee table. Luna! There's Luna Lou. We moved the couch. Just trying to make room for everybody to get inside. And there's Mr. Alex. So we're going to call him Binks today. Because, you know, Hocus Pocus. And then here is what I have out for food so far. Sarah's getting pizza. And I have... Um, what do I have? In the, oh, buffalo chicken dip in the oven let's shut that here's my fall little area we have some birthdays coming up and coffee of course and let's move that here and I'm waiting oh it's getting warm give it a few more minutes and the dip will be ready and we will be having a party all right, guys, the Hocus Pocus party is over, and I'm decorating cupcakes for work tomorrow. Mm. And having coffee. So, what I bought, I got these on Amazon, and they're cupcake clams. If I remember, I'll put that link in the description box or put them in my storefront. Um, and then I just made some purple buttercream because I'm making one eyed, one horned flying purple people eaters for tomorrow. And I'm just putting some frosting in the on the cupcakes. Now I have a few people that don't celebrate Halloween. 
So I just made purple and vanilla cupcakes for them. And these just snap shut. I read some reviews that said they don't snap good, but I don't seem to have a problem. Now, what I'm gonna do with these eyeballs, sorry, my battery's dying, with these eyeballs, and I want them to face me, is I'm just putting them on the front side. So whichever side will be the front, we'll get an eyeball so they can see the one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eaters. Um, you don't get 24 eyeballs, so you're short literally two. So you must get 18. 18, no, 18, 17, 16, 15, 12, 12, I would say in each. Ah, that's the wrong side. That's okay, it's okay. So I have some extra eyeballs. And then what I'm doing, you're not going outside guys, is I'm taking a chocolate kiss and giving it its horn. And I even use some of the cupcake rounds that I got from the Dollar Tree. My hands are very clean. I just washed them because I just washed the frosting bowl. And I just think these are fun. I mean, are they perfect? No. Do I care? No. Will they taste good? Yes. My, I happen to know that my team likes my cupcakes. I do make them from, well, I may use a cake mix for the cake. So there we go. And this is how they would get take into work and I'll show you how I'm transporting them. You just close up all these. Transporting is always an issue. When I used to do, so this was a fundraiser years ago that I did before COVID for um, Pelotonia and I would bake eight dozen cupcakes and I would bring them in and I would put them on the table and everybody would come and donate dollars. $1, $2, $5, $10, it doesn't matter. They put a donation in a jar and then they would bring a cupcake home and it worked out well. However, transporting was always a challenge because, um, you know, they're cupcakes. So I would put them in a nine ounce drink cup that I would get at a GFS, which is, ooh, okay. I'm trying to get these in here so they don't slide around in my car tomorrow. That's the important part, right? Keeping things from sliding around. But anyway, I would have a, a Rubbermaid container, a big tote full of eight dozen cupcakes. And then I would stack them up on top of each other with lids. It was like a drink cup lid. There we go. So this, this should not move tomorrow in my car, which is great. Right, because that's how we roll. And then I even have some extra Hershey Kisses I can bring. And I will clean up this mess. And I also made everybody some of the little coffins full of candy, so I'll show you those in a minute. But how easy was that? And they're super cute. We'll be back. Okay, we are at the end of the day. And we're gonna pack our lunch. So I just made a half serving or a half batch of um, buffalo chicken dip. So I'm just gonna take a little bit to work tomorrow for my lunch. I love these little containers. I got a set of four at some like crafts candle store or something, but they were great. So that's some good protein and dairy for me. And then instead of chips, I'm gonna cut up some bell pepper, these little baby bell peppers, and put in my lunch for tomorrow. And then I'll just have them with, um, with the buffalo chicken dip, because we don't wanna waste anything, right? And I think three peppers will be sufficient to have with that. And then I also have, that I will pack, um, some of these meat 
wrapped cheese and olives, which I need to go grab out of the refrigerator. So let me do that. And some cream for my coffee that I can make while I'm at work tomorrow. So this will be my full day's worth of food that I will bring. So we have the peppers and the cheese dip. And then this is just cheese with some meat wrapped around it and some olives. And then I take this cooler container, just like a coffee thermos or something, but I put cream in it. That will be enough for one or two coffees tomorrow. Probably two. And then I just put it in the refrigerator when I get to work. And this stays on. And that, oh, I can bring some crackers in case I get hungry. But that's my lunch for tomorrow, so I'm all done. It's 7.30 p.m. I need to edit this video and get myself to bed. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll talk with you later. Bye.